My name is Willie. What I hope to be doing over the, next, uh, the, over the course of this term is providing you some examples of how you can be successful in math. The examples I'm showing you are the examples that you have in your textbook, either the online textbook or the textbook you have in front of you. You notice that I have a number over on the right side or somewhere on the screen I'll have a number of the example I'm doing. And the way to interpret that is chapter one, section one, example one. I won't do every example in the book, but I'm choosing to do some of the examples in the book so you both can see it done for you and you can also follow along in your book. I know how it is to read a math book. It's not the easiest thing in the world. You need to have somebody sometimes walking through with you. So what I hope to do is just walk through some of these examples with you. If you have any questions on any of the examples or if you see that I made a mistake, because so, sometimes I make mistakes and I don't realize it when I'm just doing some uh, demo shoots here, feel free to email, email me and say, Willie, hey, I didn't understand this or how did you get to this point or hey, you probably said the right answer but you wrote down the wrong answer. So help me find those if you can. So let's start things off on this first example. This is chapter one, section one, example number one. And the example is asking us to evaluate these expressions, and the term I will use will be expressions. 3 plus 4x is an expression. 4 times x plus 3, that's another expression. You also notice that I did not have all numbers in those expressions. There's a letter x. One of the terms we're going to become very familiar with is a term called a variable. And variable is a designation of a letter that can represent many, many different numbers. Because sometimes we want to evaluate an expression not just for one value, but for many values. So in this particular case, I want to evaluate the expression 3 plus 4x, and the example is asking us to evaluate it at 5. Just a number they chose. It could have been any number in the world. We're just going to look at 5 for right now. So in doing so, I'm going to rewrite 3 plus 4x, but where I had the x, I'm going to insert the value 5. And I know by context, that's a 4 times the x, or 4 times the 5. So I put parentheses around that 5 just to make sure I remember the order of how it's operated within this expression. So 3 plus 4 times 5, 4 times 5 is 20. Then 3 plus the 20 is 23. So that expression, evaluated at 5, or evaluated where x equals 5, is 23. On this next one, same idea, rewrite the equation or the expression, and everywhere I see the variable, I insert the 5. 4 times 5 plus 3. 5 plus 3 is an 8, so I have 4 times an 8, and 4 times 8 is 32.